basic stance and movement. One thing that's important is not to cross the feet. When it comes down to being able to move, I want to make sure I don't cross my feet because at that point I'm incredibly vulnerable. It's difficult for me to initiate an attack. It's also difficult for me to defend myself. And I cannot really do either until I take the time to get in more favorable position. So don't cross your feet. The other thing as I move is I want to tend to take small, short steps. And as I said before, my weight is pretty much on the balls of my feet. Even though my heels are coming down to the mat, I'm not stepping like this. My heels are down on the mat, but most of the weight, the majority of the weight, 60 or 70% of the weight, is going to be on the balls of my feet. Now, I take small, short steps, and this allows me to move quickly. The other thing that's really, really important about this is that when I step, I am most vulnerable at the point of my step where I've transferred the weight from typically the rear foot towards the front foot to when I'm having to come down. When I step, there's a point where when I'm on this foot only, say my back foot as an example, as my trajectory comes down, I cannot move this foot either for an attack or defense until it makes contact. So when I'm stepping my trajectory down, I'm very vulnerable. And when we do some setups and when we go into attacks, I'll show you how to take advantage of this concept. But note that if I take big steps, there's more period, a greater period of time where I'm vulnerable. Whereas if I'm taking short, low, small steps, that vulnerability, that point in time where I'm stepping and I'm pretty much out of control position-wise until I make contact and can readjust by making small steps, that period of time, that window for my opponent to take advantage of that is relatively small. So when you're stepping, you want to take small steps, short steps, as opposed to big steps where that period of time when my foot is off the mat, I'm incredibly vulnerable. Next, don't bring your feet too close together. On one hand, of course, I'm not going to be very mobile, and nor am I going to be, uh, uh, have much of a solid base if I'm too wide. Same thing is true if my feet are too close together. You want to be roughly shoulder width or slightly more apart. So I don't want to ever bring my feet, though, too close together, just like I didn't want to cross them. The closer my feet are together, there's a tendency for me to have a poor base. Okay, I'm not able to defend well, I'm not able to attack well from this position, my mobility is low, and my base is not particularly strong in this position. So, I don't let my feet come too close together. I'm not taking steps like this. I'm gonna to tend to keep my feet almost as if this is a magnet and this is a magnet and they're both south pole. So when I want to get them too close together, I feel almost like a push. I mean, you want to kind of think of your legs kind of maintaining that distance the whole time. Next, you want to be able to get a sense of moving forward as well as to the side and backward. And you'll notice these are small steps I'm not going to cross. I'm not going to bring them too close together. I'm not going to take a big step to where I'm vulnerable on my way down. But basic movement is being able to go forward, backward, to the side. And you'll notice when I back up, I don't want my head to come down. Okay. If I go to the side, I don't want to change my position. You want to keep everything pretty steady. It's just your feet are moving. Keep your visual attention directed towards your, partner, towards your partner or opponent's chest. So, in review, for me to move around comfortably, I don't want to cross my feet. I want to take small, short steps so that I can move quickly, so that my feet are off the mat as little of the time as possible when I'm taking those steps. I don't want to bring my feet too close together. 
and by taking small steps, I can hopefully avoid that because it's a much larger step to get them close. So I'm going to keep moving comfortably. You need to be able to move circularly. You need to be able to move forward. You need to be able to move backwards. You need to be comfortable while you're doing all of this.